Hello lovies! Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this super moist chocolate cake and also how to make two types of chocolate ganache and simple way to decorate your chocolate cake. First thing to do when baking a cake is to bring all your cake ingredients to reach room temperature. The next thing to do is to prepare your baking pans. I'm using two 7 inch baking pans. I prefer using parchment paper to line my pans because I'm sure my cake won't stick to the bottom. So if you want your cake not to stick to the bottom of your pan, please make use of parchment paper or non-stick cake pans. Next thing is to preheat your oven. So these are the ingredients I'm going to be making use of. I'm using flour, sugar, oil, eggs, milk, coffee, yogurt, chocolate, vanilla extract, baking soda, baking powder, corn flour, butter, cocoa powder. As we continue, I'll be telling you more about this ingredient. Measure and sieve 200 grams of all purpose flour. In this video, I made use of measuring skin, but I also converted to cups, so please check the description box for full measurements. Although using cup to measure won't give you the accurate measurement, but as a bonus, I'll be showing you how to properly measure flour and other ingredients using the measuring cup. Measure and sieve 40 grams of corn flour to the flour. The reason why I'm adding corn flour to this cake is to make the cake softer and tender. Add 2 teaspoons of baking soda. It's very important to level your leavening agent. Too much of it can ruin the taste and structure of your cake. Please, when a recipe calls for baking powder, do use baking powder. Don't substitute baking powder for baking soda. Baking soda is only activated where there is an acid in the recipe. Acid like buttermilk, lemon juice, vinegar, yogurt, or natural cocoa powder, or even brown sugar. Baking powder already has acid, so I'll substitute baking powder for baking soda. Just double the quantity. And this has to be though, we are making use of baking powder and baking soda. This will help the cake rise well. So as you can see, this is how to level your labeling agent. The next thing we're going to add is one teaspoon of baking powder. So the next ingredient I'm adding is salt, one teaspoon of salt. So salt is one of the ingredients that's mostly disregarded in cakes. What salt does to your cake is that it balances the sweetness and suppresses the bitterness and it also strengthens the gluten structure contributing to the cake texture. So mix this together and set aside. In another bowl, cream 103 grams on salted butter or margarine. You can use a wix or a mixer to cream your butter. The reason why I'm not using a mixer is to show you how easy to make this cake is. Like I said before, all your cake ingredients should be at room temperature. This will ensure a smoother texture in your cake batter. Cream the butter for about 2 to 3 minutes and set aside for some seconds. In another bowl, sieve 100 grams of Dutch processed cocoa powder. Dutch processed cocoa powder will make your cake taste richer and it will give your cake that very deep chocolate flavor, the natural cocoa powder. It also makes your cake smell so irresistible. <laughs> in nigeria i will recommend this brand so far it is the best i have seen the reason why i'm saving the cocoa powder is to break up the lumps add in olive oil yes i know <laughs> well what, what olive oil is going to do to your cake is going to give your cake that wonderful moist texture and a very light and subtle flavor where well, you can substitute olive oil with good vegetable oil so all that you need to do is to use the finest product to make this cake and you will definitely love the result 
To make your chocolate cake more chocolatey, add chocolate. Use chocolate that has more cocoa content and that is of high quality. Melt and add into the mix. So this is a chocolate product I use. Please do check the description box for the full measurements. The reason why I'm dissolving the cocoa powder with the oil is to enhance the chocolate flavor and create a smoother texture in our cake and also to distribute the cocoa particles more evenly preventing lumps and resulting in a richer more consistent chocolate taste throughout the cake so in my previous video i said adding salt to a chocolate product does make it more chocolatey so add a pinch of salt and mix you can see how glossy this looks set this aside for two seconds we're going to add it into our bottom add in sugar and cocoa mix to the cream bottom Queen for five to eight minutes. So at interval, just stop and scrape down the bottom of the bowl a few times during mixing. If you enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. Turn on your notification to get notified of when I drop new videos. I upload videos every Fridays and Sundays. So as much as possible, do not over mix your butter. This can result to a dense cake add in eggs i'm making use of three eggs to add eggs one at a time and mix vigorously at each addition eggs are mixed vigorously in cake to help incorporate air creating a lighter and fluffier cake please if you're not certain about anything in this video do drop your comments below i will share to give you more insights or shed more light to your question like i said before do not forget to scrape the bottom and sides of your bowl Add in the last egg and vanilla extract and mix for some seconds. Looks so gluey and yummy. So the next ingredient I'm adding is a dry ingredient with milk and yogurt. Do make use of unsweetened Greek or plain yogurt. If you're in Nigeria, this product is one of the finest yogurt products we have. So please do make use of this or any one that you feel is nice. But this is my own recommendation. Add in some of the dry ingredients and mix, followed by half of the yogurt and half of the mink. Ensure you're starting and ending with a dry ingredient. <music> <music> 
The reason why we start and end with a dry ingredient is to reduce the mixing process. The less you mix the flour, the lighter and fluffier your cake will be. Add in half of the Greek yogurt and half of the milk. Please ensure that you're making use of full cream milk and not evaporated milk. Full cream milk will make your cake taste richer and give you moist, more moist texture compared to evaporated milk. So you're adding the milk and the yogurt in two addition while the flour in three addition. ensure you scrape the under and side of your bowl so you don't have some ingredients stuck at the bottom or the side the last and final ingredient we're adding is coffee add one tablespoon of coffee to a cup and add one cup of hot water mix well and add into your cake batter gently <laughs> you definitely know i'll tell you the reason why we are adding coffee coffee will intensify the chocolate flavor in your cake the coffee won't not make your cake taste like coffee at all, be sure of that. Instead, it will amplify the chocolate richness. Butter into the prepared cake pans.
Gently tap at the table counter to reduce air bubbles. Bake in a preheated oven for 40 to 45 minutes. So do not be tempted to open the oven frequently as this can cause temperature fluctuation and affect your cake drastically. So follow this following tip. Follow the baking time of the recipe first. Your cake is ready when you insert to bake and it comes at neat or when the cake starts to pull away from the sides of the pan then you know it is ready see how super moist the cake looks to take your chocolate cake to another moist level make chocolate ganache in a saucepan or pot combine sugar cocoa powder and corn flour mix together well until everything is well incorporated add mix in beets and mix well until it is well combined Please check the description box for proper measurements. Turn on the heat and cook at low heat. Stir constantly. Cook until the mixture is thick. Turn off the heat, add in butter and vanilla extract. Stir away until everything is well mixed. delicious this is a game changer the other ganache is greek yogurt ganache add yogurt to bowl save in cocoa powder and powdered sugar stir well very easy there you go your ganache is ready so this is a very easy way to decorate your chocolate cake and take your cake to another level add butter cream to cake board this is to prevent the cake from falling so before doing this step please ensure your cake has properly cooled down once your cake has cooled down you can also place in a clean film and put in the fridge add the cake to the cream board add in the ganache i use the first ganache for this spread over the cake Add the other layer of the cake and spread the ganache over the cake. Clean the board and place in the fridge to set properly. Use 
acetate sheet and cover the cake. You can as well cover the first layer of the cake with the acetate sheet, put your ganache and add the other layer in order to secure the cake properly. Seal the edge with cello tape. Clean the board. So I was running out of time, so I had to decorate this cake in the car. So just fill the cake with whatever toppings you like. Easy. So just look at it so beautiful so like i said fill your cake with whatever toppings you like and you're good to go easy like i said in the beginning so this is a bonus this is the proper way to measure your dry ingredients if you're using cup thanks for taking the time to watch this video so if you've enjoyed this video do not forget to hit on the like button comment and if you tried this recipe please tell me how it turned out thanks guys i'll see you on the other flip side bye for now ciao